penny pinchers, coupon savers, scarcity mindset, World War II depression generationers have passed down that information to their kids and their grandkids. You can't save yourself to wealth. Stop saving your money. So listen, folks, Google this on your own, but according to the U.S. Federal Reserve figures, in 2001, the medium uh, average, let's call it the medium savings account, was about $5,000. And then from 2001, it went down. And then circling back to 2019, I know we're in 2021, but 2019, the median savings has gone up to $5,000 again. So what am I saying? Look, if you just continue to save money in savings account where you're earning less than 1% interest, you're going to go broke. Not only are you paying taxes on the interest, but you also have a lost opportunity cost associated with that tax on that less than 1% interest that you're earning on your money. Now, listen, you're going to always talk to the person that says, hey, put all your money in the stock market. And they're going to say, since 1920, the stock market has averaged about 10% a year. By the way, that's a theory. Because at the end of the day, if you really take a look at that, what they're not saying is that doesn't include people taking money out. That doesn't include the fees that they're, they're being charged. That doesn't include the lost opportunity cost on the fees that are being charged, as well as the short-term taxes, especially if it's on an after-tax account where there's constant mutual funds rebalancing the portfolios. This is a tax conversation. So at the end of the day, whatever that theory is, really doesn't stand true when you get into the sequence of returns, rate, risk, and what does that mean? That means that at any given five or 10 year period based on your age and based on distributions of those portfolios, you could be subjected to market declines during those times, right? So, so what are we saying here? We're not saying saving is a bad fundamental. As a matter of fact, if you have a fundamental of being able to save on a monthly basis, you're ahead of a lot of people that don't do that, right? We're not saying don't put your money into a 401k or don't put your money into an IRA. What we are saying is have a game plan on, first of all, saving, if you can, 15 to 20% a month based on your income. If you have bills and you have to start at 8, 9, or 10% a month, do that. But remember, as you begin to reduce your debt and you get more liquidity, you want to use more of that money to be able to save it. Then the question becomes, how do you save your money and to what kind of vehicles? Well, before you even get to that, you have to understand what your economic philosophy is first. What are your goals and objectives? Where are you at on the financial freedom map? Um, what age are you right now? Do you have children? Are you going to have children? Or are your children in college? All these different questions are really important to get a psychological understanding of what you want to do next. Once all that is established, then you want to be able to get with the right kind of folks that sits and fits with what your core values are. And a lot of people like to save and deploy their money through cash value life insurance plans where as their money is being built up on a monthly basis and if it's structured the right way, you can accelerate those policies and be able to have that money earning a very conservative rate of return. But now all of a sudden, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're a business owner or if you want to finance your own money or your own um, debt opportunities and you use your cash value life insurance as the turbocharger, what now can happen is you can begin to get, and we say it all the time, multiple uses of each and every dollar. And in the space of multiple uses of each and every dollar, you're going to be earning rates of returns off of the same dollar in different asset classes. So listen, folks, here, here it is. Um, if you're a saver, half the battle is already done. You, you can win big in this game if you already have the discipline of savings. And with that being said, go ahead and click the link below. Check out the Epic Financial Freedom Map that will show you not only where you are on the map, but also give you a clear path on how to get to where you want to go in the most efficient and the most effective manner. And you can take that money train with you.